Anna went on vacation to Hawaii and stayed at a luxury hotel. The hotel manager told her that they had only three empty rooms left. Anna could choose the room she liked best. Can you help her make a wise choice? There's no mosquito net on the window in the second room, and something's wrong with the door handle in the third room. So Anna should choose the first room. Anna went to the hotel swimming pool. She spotted three odd details in the area right away. Can you see them too? There's no ladder in the pool. There are two suns in the sky, and this guy is sunbathing in a winter coat. After lunch, Anna decided to go on a boat trip. At the pier, she met three sailors. Bob offered her a three-hour sailing and fishing trip for ten dollars only. Kyle offered Anna a personal diving class for two hundred dollars, and Daniela offered to have a boat trip around the coastal cliffs for free. But only one of these offers is actually a good deal. Can you guess which one? Kyle's offer is overpriced. Look at the poster hanging at the pier. It advertises personal diving classes for twenty dollars. And Daniela's offer isn't safe. Her boat has a broken bottom. That's why Anna should accept Bob's offer. Anna woke up on a deserted island in the middle of a hot day. The sun was shining very bright, so she needed to find a water source as soon as possible. There's the sea nearby, but she can't drink salty water. She found an abandoned cabin that contained some really handy items: two empty paint cans, one large and one small, a roll of aluminum foil, one baseball, an old pair of sneakers, and some other useful things. Which one of these additional items can Anna use to combine with the previous items to obtain drinking water? A book. A handful of tiny pebbles, or a plastic bag. The book is useless in this context. The pebbles can be found all over the shore. As for the plastic bag, Anna can fill one half of the larger paint can with seawater, then put the smaller can inside of it. Next, she should use the laces from the sneakers to pull the plastic bag tight over the large can, and finally place the baseball on top of the plastic bag, directly above the smaller can, to make a small indentation. Then, just leave this construction in the sun. Drinking water will evaporate and condense on the plastic bag. The indentation will push the water into the smaller paint can. Anna decided to explore the island. Soon, she found a tunnel and got lost inside it. At the bottom of the tunnel, Anna saw three pits leading to freedom. But unfortunately, every pit is hiding some danger. A huge squid is hiding in the first pit. There's a hungry hyena in the second pit, and there's a poisonous porcupine hiding on the third path. Can you help Anna choose the safest way to escape? Anna should choose the pit with the squid. They can't live in conditions that differ from the marine habitat. Therefore, she should wait for a while. The squid will get weaker, and she'll be able to escape safely. Anna got hungry and went to the jungle to find some food. But she's not alone here. Can you find any hidden animals in this picture? There are six animals in the jungle. Here they are: a butterfly, an alligator, a rabbit, a camel, a snake, and a deer. Finally, Anna found three bushes with berries. They all look delicious, but only one of them is safe to eat. Can you help Anna make the right choice? She should take a look at the monkeys. They stay away from the first bush because it's a mutant plant. See, it has teeth and emanates toxic gases. Meanwhile, the monkeys enjoy berries from the second and third bushes. 
but a cobra is hiding under the third bush. So the second bush is the safest choice. Anna got sunburned during her walk. Which item from the cabin can she use to cool down? Aluminum foil? Fresh water from the paint can? Or the sponge with some seawater? The sponge with salty water will only make it worse for Anna's irritated skin. And the drinking water is too precious to waste on bathing. Meanwhile, metallic foil is a great tool to cool down a shelter. Anna can cover the roof and the cabin walls and deflect some of the sun's heat. The next day, Anna continued her travel around the island and came across an abandoned village. She found a car with the keys still in it. The car was parked outside the local library. But before Anna could do something about it, a nearby volcano erupted. She didn't see any signs of glowing red lava, but a huge cloud of black smoke was moving towards her. It'll reach the place where Anna's standing in a minute. What should she do? 1. Head down to the library's basement, which is filled with vampire bats. 2. Take the stairs to the library's roof and hide there. Or take the car and try to ride away. Volcanic dust is very hot and moves at high speed. Anna cannot either outrun the dust or hide from the clouds on the roof. So the safest option is to lock herself in the basement with creepy bat neighbors. In the basement, Anna noticed a big wall clock. It happened when the minute and hour hand was precisely between 1 and 2. She saw that both hands lay on top of each other. Can you guess what the time was? Twelve o'clock. Both minute and hour hands lay exactly between the number one and two in the middle of the number twelve. Anna looked around and found a secret passage in the basement. She entered the passage and fell into a subterranean river, which carried her away to a large waterfall and then to a much bigger river surrounded by rocky cave walls. She tried to swim away, but the force of the waterfall had created a reverse current, pulling her backwards with an intense force. Anna needs to act fast. What would you suggest? Swim onward through the crashing water, swim to the side and try to climb the walls, or dive as deep as possible and then swim out of the waterfall's pull. Swimming onward isn't an option. The current will pull her back anyway. The chances of directly overcoming the forces of the water are zero. But if Anna goes downward as deep as possible where the water current is not so strong, she still has a good chance to escape. As soon as Anna got outside, she met a wicked witch. She offered Anna a deal. You need to run one of these three tunnels colored red, blue, and yellow. Two of them lead to a black hole, while another leads to your hotel room. Listen to my clues very carefully. Choose the reed and you won't disappear. It's a lie to say that blue isn't dissimilar. The yellow doesn't have less in common with the red than the blue. Can you help Anna make the right choice? The witch said that the red tunnel won't not make her disappear, which means that Anna will disappear. So we can exclude the red one, and the yellow doesn't have less in common with the red than the blue, which means that the yellow does have more in common with the red. So now we can exclude the yellow one as well. Anna should choose the blue tunnel. Detective Tina received an emergency call from the local museum. Someone had stolen an exclusive scarab brooch from ancient Egypt. First of all, Tina checked all security cameras. This is what she found. Can you spot the thief just by looking at these two pictures? See this guy? He's holding an open paper cup in the first image. But in the second image, the cup has a lid. 
the guy hid the stolen brooch in his paper cup. Detective Tina hurried to the crime scene. When the brooch disappeared, the museum security system locked all visitors inside the building. But the guards didn't find the suspected person among the visitors. How did he escape? Have you guessed? Take a look up at the ceiling. See the shoe prints on the statue? The thief climbed this sculpture and escaped through the window on the roof. Tina went to the roof to search for some clues. Can you see any? The thief left the cup on the roof. There's a coffee shop name written on it. Bright Cup. Tina can visit this place and check the security cameras. Tina arrived at the coffee shop, located just nearby the museum. Unfortunately, they didn't have security cameras, so Tina questioned the staff. Kelly, the barista, said, Sorry, I don't know this guy. I'm just trying to do my job. Mike, the manager, said, This face looks familiar, but I'm not sure where I saw him. And Phil, the guard, said, Sorry, never saw him. You can trust me, I have a perfect memory for faces. Tina knew for sure that one of them had lied. Can you spot who exactly? Kelly, look at her iPad. There's an incoming call from her boyfriend. Take a closer look at the contact photo. It's our thief. Therefore, Kelly is an accomplice in the crime. Tina told Kelly, I'm afraid we should continue this conversation at the police station. But Kelly ran away through the backyard. Tina followed her and ended up in a dark basement. She got lost and found these three cages. The first cage is covered with fire. There are huge ice cubes all over the second cage. And the third cage is full of venomous scorpions. Tina has to choose one of them to get to the surface. Can you help her choose the safest option? The cage with the ice cubes. She can get cold, but it's still safer than the other two cages. The police caught Kelly and brought her to the station. During interrogation, Kelly told Tina four facts. First of all, this guy's name is Alex. Secondly, he's my ex-boyfriend. We don't get along anymore. We went to the same college and met in history class. And finally, I don't know why he'd stolen this stupid brooch. One of the facts is false. Can you guess which one? The fourth one. Look at Kelly's tattoo. It's identical to the stolen brooch. She definitely knows something about the stolen item. Kelly confessed that the thief might be hiding in an abandoned castle site outside the city. Tina went to check it out. But anyone who wants to reach the castle should go through this tangled maze. Can you tell which one of these four paths will bring Tina to the castle? The first path leads to the pond with crocodiles. The third one leads nowhere. And the fourth way goes back to the beginning. So Tina should choose the second path. Tina entered the castle and saw a room full of ancient artifacts. She spotted the thief right away. What about you? Can you see him? This mummy is holding a cell phone. Alex ran away to the basement and Tina followed him. Unfortunately, the door behind her slammed shut and she got stuck. Can you help her break the code to escape? A calendar on the door says, you force heaven to be empty. If you read the sentence again, you're going to hear a seven-digit code. U, four, seven, two, B, M, T. In the next room, Tina got stuck in another trap. The creepy voice explained, If you press the right button, 
I am going to let you go. But if you choose the wrong one, you'll stay here forever. You've only got one chance to escape. Good luck. Which button opens the lock? Have you guessed? She should pick the black button. This picture on the wall is a hint. The rainbow contains all colors except for black. Tina got out of the trap and entered a room full of old furniture. She noticed three odd details about this room right away. What about you? There are books in this burning fireplace, but they don't burn. Take a look at this painting on the wall. This lady's winking. And the reflection in this mirror doesn't match the room at all. Tina found Alex near these underground gates leading to an ancient underground city. He explained that the scarab brooch hid a secret key, but there are four different locks on the gates. The guys only have one attempt to choose the right one. Which lock should they pick? The fourth lock is the only perfect match for this key. The guys opened the gates and entered the city. Alex had a map, so he ran away to find the treasures and left Tina alone. She looked around and noticed a three-way road pointing to the north, west, and east. Tina didn't know where to go. Suddenly, she saw a lady. The local citizens always reply truthfully, but they answer only one question if they're talking to a stranger. What should Tina ask to figure out the right direction? She should ask, if the right direction is not the east, is it west? Here's why. There are three possible answers. One, yes, west is correct. Two, no, east is the right direction. Three, neither one nor the other. Tina should go north. Or, Tina might just ask the name of this lady and then introduce herself. This way, they won't be strangers anymore, and Tina would be able to ask as many questions as she needed. Tina went north and finally found the entrance to a cave with treasures, but the door has a combination lock. Can you help Tina figure out the code? Take a look at these figures. The number corresponds to the sum of intersection points. Therefore, she needs to calculate the number of points in the last figure. And voila! The four-digit code is solved. Inside the caves, Tina met a dragon. It said, I'm gonna let you in if you can crack my riddle. I'm gonna let you in if you can crack my riddle. I'm quite hot, but if you remove the first two letters, I become too cold. What am I? Have you guessed? The correct answer is spice. When we take away the first two letters, it turns into ice. To find the treasures, Tina has to walk through this round maze. She only has 10 seconds to choose the correct way. Can you help her out? Here's the easiest way. Tina found three doors in the center of the labyrinth. Each door leads to treasures. But each way also hides some danger. The first path is filled with poisonous gas. There are thousands of toads and bugs behind the second door. They crawl all over the floor and walls. And a hungry lion is hiding behind the third door. Which way should Tina choose? The second way, although bugs and toads can be gross, they're not dangerous. Tina took the treasures and headed home. Suddenly, she met Alex. Tina decided to trick him and offered him a deal. If you manage to solve my puzzle, I'm going to give you 100% of the treasures. But if you fail, you'll get nothing and go to jail. 
Here's the riddle. Move just one match to point this giraffe in a different direction. Alex failed to crack this riddle. What about you? Here's the correct answer. Pretty easy, huh? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.